There is no Goonies. There is no Goonies. It's just, it's a lifestyle. That's it. But there is no Goonies as a group, man. Damn show, damn, 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 broke a leg. You feel me? Broke a foot. <laughs> Nigga broke a foot. Nigga, I could walk for a week. You feel me? Nigga broke a foot. Oh my mama, no, I'm anytime though, man. Just hit that nigga and we pull up. You can feel me, gang? Or hit me, I pull up. Like, that shit was mad fun, gang. I like shit like that. Feel me? I like shit like that. Oh, this bitch took the road. Oh, slick motherfucker. Nah, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to tune in. I'm about to tune in. I'm to roll up, get right. Am my day going? But shit, I've been up since five o'clock. But so, do anybody else do that? Like, I be up at five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, but my day don't start till like eleven. Like. Hey, defeat, hey, de defeat tomorrow. Hey, look. Hey, what you do when two brothers having their little moment? Stay the fuck up out of it, right? When two brothers having their moment, like they, not, like two brothers that's your brother. Like say you got two brothers. They having their moment. You now you might chime in, yo, this, that. But for the most part, you let them do their thing. They, oh, all right. That's all I got to say. So don't ask me about it. I ain't got no answers. Like, bro, I be up. Feel me? I be up five o'clock in the fucking morning. But my day don't be starting till like a live. I be taking advantage of that shit. Like this morning, I put all of the rest of the badges and shit on my 2K nigga. All right, damn. Put all the rest of the badges on that nigga this morning. Oh, if y'all need the grinding techniques on 2K, that's, you know what I'm saying? What's not true, though? What's not true, though? Put me on. What's not true? I'm working on getting all of that shit together right now, gang. I got down. I got the good. I got the good day gang motherfucking shit made. So I'm working on all that shit right now, gang. Your siblings trying to run. see. Understood. Understood. I keep it a band with you. Not over here. Yeah, it's not that serious, gang. Not that serious. Niggas gotta understand, like, men is tribal type niggas. We got tribal type mindsets, so niggas have issues, niggas do what they do, like, you know? But this is what I say, because when niggas find they, you gotta understand, cooler heads prevail. So when niggas find they resolve at the end and everything all good, what you don't wanna be is that motherfucker that was in the middle, call yourself fake picking a side type shit. So I'm just letting the bros do what they do. Like, in the past, they let me do what I do, you feel me? Uh, the good day gang shit coming. <sighs> I'll be real with you. I actually paid the nigga for two logos. I paid. I sent the bread for one. I'm about to send the rest of the bread today. Get that shit done. So that's just me being all the way 100 with y'all. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, bro. I'm not finna. We not finna do all that. Two bros, you're not finna get me to talk down on they one of their name. A 
and I say that because I've learned. I went against the grain in the, in the past, being emotional. And you know the and you know the best teacher. No one stepping in and intervening, or lie with me to goddamn learn my lesson. Sometimes you just gotta learn your fucking lesson. And that's the biggest thing about this shit. That's the biggest thing about life. Sometimes we can step in and save a nigga because you know what you don't want to do is let a nigga learn a lesson, but at the end of that lesson is death. So, you know, I don't want to see you die, gang. But at the same time, sometimes you just got to learn your lesson, bro. And the best teacher is going to be the fact that it's instilled in your brain of what can happen to you because it happened. A lot of people do certain things and keep certain acts up because when shit's supposed to go down... Motherfucker step in and no, 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 no. And you might not be real with you. This going to sound crazy. It's going to sound crazy, but sometimes you need to get your ass whooped. I know niggas didn't heard that before. I know niggas, niggas not going to tell me. I'm, and this ain't got nothing to do with drugs and ace. This got to do with just life. Sometimes you got to get your ass whooped to learn your lesson. Meaning, or not even get your ass whooped, but get punched in your mouth. Because here's the thing. You could beat the nigga up, right? But when you say what you say to this nigga over here and he just sit there, you build a confidence in doing shit like that. You start to feel as if you can do shit like that. But then when you turn around to the next nigga and you say that shit and he mock him, you then know, oh, this can come with that. Okay, ding, lesson learned. So, you know. Because I'll be real with you. I don't mean nothing by this. I love white people, by the way. But I say this to say, you know how we make that joke about white kids with their parents and they cuss them out and mom, fuck you, mom, fuck off, mom. And them same little girls and little boys that do that, that's when they do that shit to a nigga like me and be like, fuck off, fuck you, bucko. Fuck your whole life, bucko. And then I go, fuck what? And then they go, police. That's his first lesson learned. His mama didn't give him no discipline. She ain't back smack that nigga. She ain't do nothing to that nigga or that little girl to let her know how you talk and come with consequences. So the moment he do all that shit with me, fuck you, man. Fuck your life, bucko. I'll fuck you up. Word, dude. Fuck what up? Oh, shit. 911. Because he ain't never learned a lesson. Watch what the fuck you say because everybody don't react the same. And if you don't know that, if you do know that lesson, then you can't complain about the consequences of you indulging them actions. And that's what a lot of us is going through in real life. We get older, niggas get on this internet. You niggas get to typing whatever you want. You niggas get to talking outside of your body. And that's how shit go.